Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you all doing well today we are going to discuss about locomotion in different animals in our previous lectures we have been discussing about the skeletal system and the muscular system in humans in today's lecture i'll tell you about locomotion in different animals how different animals move from one place to another first of all let's talk about earthworm the locomotion in earthworm how this earthworm moves from one place to another first of all let's talk about the body structure of an earthworm you all might have observed that the body of an earthworm is very long and it's cylindrical it's cylindrical in shape and it's made up of many rings or segments like here in this picture you can see these are the rings i am talking about these are the rings or segments jo body structure hota hai earthworm ka it's made up of many rings or segments and it is cylindrical in shape and when we talk about their skeleton they do not have a solid skeleton their body is filled with a liquid so they have a liquid skeleton which gives shape to their body up to that you can see here in this picture there are minute bristles on the below surface of their body and these bristles are attached to many muscles these are attached to many muscles we are talking about the locomotion in earthworm so the, we studied about the rings we studied about the bristles and the muscles which are attached to these bristles actually these earthworms are able to locomote from one place to another they are able to move from one place to another with the help of these bristles the rings or the segments and the many muscles which are attached to the bristles that means earthworm mein jo rings hote hain jo bristles hote hain aur jo muscles bristles ke sath connected hote hain ये तीनों मिलके इसे हेल्प करते हैं टू मूव फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू इन अदर वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द मसल्स इन द अर्थवर्म वी फाइंड टू टाइप्स ऑफ मसल्स दैट मीन्स देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ मसल्स प्रेजेंट इन द बॉडी ऑफ अर्थवर्म्स दीज आर सर्क्यूलर मसल्स एंड द लॉन्गिट्यूडनल मसल्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स टॉक अबाउट सर्क्यूलर मसल्स here in the picture you can see these are the circular muscles they are like rings around their body and these are the longitudinal muscles like here so by the contraction and relaxation of these very particular muscles that is circular muscles and the longitudinal muscles the earthworm is able to move from one place to another now let's see what happens when the circular muscles contract when circular muscles contract here in the picture 1 and this is picture 2 if we talk about picture 1 it is it is long as compared to picture 2 and it is thin as compared to picture 2 when we talk about picture 2 it is thick and it is short this is because in the picture 2 circular muscles are in the contracted form that means the circular muscles are contracted in this very particular picture 1 and in the next picture that's picture 2 the longitudinal muscles are contracted so we can say when circular muscle is contract when circular muscle is contract the segments become long and thin as you can see here in the picture 1 it's long and thin as compared to the picture 2 but when longitudinal muscle is contract the, these segments they become short and thick you can uh, you can clearly see the difference between the picture 1 and picture 2 the picture 1 is long and thin while as picture 2 is thick and it is short this is because of the contraction or contraction of circular and longitudinal muscles so we can say these earthworms they are able to move from one place to another by the help of the contraction of 
circular and longitudinal muscles. These muscles help the earthworm to move from one place to another. So this was about the locomotion in earthworm. Now let's talk about another uh, animal that's snail. When we talk about snails, first of all, let's see how their body structure is. On their body, there is a shell. There is a hard shell. This is the hard shell, which protects them from the enemies and the heat. So the shell is actually for the protection of the snails. And for the locomotion, for the locomotion, they have a large muscular flat foot. As you can see in the picture, this is the foot I'm talking about. This is the muscular foot, which helps in the locomotion of these snails. When we talk about this muscular foot, this actually releases a slimy substance that's called as mucus. That's called as mucus. And this mucus actually reduces the friction and helps in the locomotion of snails. When these snails move from one place to another, when uh, we see that there is a trail of mucus left behind. That means, when these snails move from one place to another with the help of their muscular foot, which releases the mucus, so when they move, they move back to their जो म्यूकस है उसकी एक लाइन सी बन जाती है दैट्स व्हाट वी मीन बाय अ ट्रायल ऑफ म्यूकस सो दिस वाज अबाउट द लोकोमोशन इन स्नेल सो इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ द लार्ज मस्कुलर फ्लैट फुट व्हिच दे हैव दैट वेरी पर्टिकुलर फुट एक्चुअली प्रोड्यूसेस अ स्लाइमी सब्सटेंस दैट्स कॉल्ड एज म्यूकस व्हिच हेल्प्स टू रिड्यूस द फ्रिक्शन सो दीस स्नेल्स आर एबल टू मूव फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट अनदर ऑर्गेनिज्म दैट्स कॉकरोच how they move from one place to another. For the locomotion, these cockroaches, they have three pairs of legs. And they have three pairs of legs. One, two, and three. Which help them, which help them to walk and to run. That means, by the help of these uh, three pairs of legs, that means six legs, they are able to move from one place to another. Apart from that, they have claws on their feet which help them to climb on the walls. So with the help of these claws, they are able to grip on the walls and climb them. And apart from these uh, three pairs of legs, they have also they also have two pairs of wings. Two pairs of wings which help them to fly very short distances. You can see that this cockroach, they have wings as well, which help them to fly short distances. Apart from this, they have a pair of antenna. This is the antenna I'm talking about, a pair of antenna and a pair of cerci on the back. This is the cerci I'm talking about. When we talk about antenna, antenna helps them to smell things. They help them to smell things. And when we talk about cerci, it helps them to detect slight movement. Now let's talk about another organism that's snakes. Let's see how they move from one place to another. When we talk about snakes, they do not have legs. Snakes do not have any sort of legs and they move by crawling from one place to another. That means snakes are able to move from one place to another by crawling. They crawl from one place to another. Now let's see how they crawl. Actually, they have a long and flexible vertebral column. This is the vertebral column I'm talking about. This is the vertebral column. It's very long from the head down to the tail. It's very long and it's very flexible. That means it can bend in different directions. So it's very long and it's very flexible. When we talk about the vertebral column or the backbone, you already know that it's not a single bone. It's made up of different bones. These bones are called as vertebrae. That means vertebral column or the backbone, it's made up of a number of bones which are called as vertebrae. And when we talk about these vertebrae, to each vertebrae, a pair of ribs is connected. When we talk about snakes, 
a pair of ribs is connected to each vertebral. These are the ribs I'm talking about. These are the ribs. These are connected to the backbone. And to these ribs, strong muscles are attached. Strong muscles are attached. So, this vertebral column, this long and flexible vertebral column, the ribs which are connected to the uh, to these uh, to this vertebral column and the strong muscles which are attached to the ribs these three actually collectively help the sna snake to move from one place to another in simpler words we can say jo snake hota hai uska jo vertebral column hota hai wo bahut hi flexible hota hai aur long hota hai and it helps in the uh, it's attached to the uh, when we talk about backbone or the vertebral column it's made up of a number of uh, small bones which are called as vertebrae और जो वर्टेब्री होते हैं उनके साथ कनेक्टेड होते हैं रिब्स और रिब्स कनेक्टेड होती हैं बहुत सारे स्ट्रॉन्ग मसल्स के साथ एंड कलेक्टिवली दीज जो ये वर्टेब्रल कॉलम होता है और रिब्स होते हैं और जो मसल्स होते हैं ये मदद करते हैं एक स्नेक को इन द लोको मोशन नाउ लेट्स सी हाउ दीज थ्री एक्चुअली कलेक्टिवली हेल्प द स्नेक टू मूव द स्नेक एक्चुअली मेक्स लूप्स this makes loops this is the loop i am talking about this is the loop and it makes loops on the alternative sides this one this one to the right and this one to the left so it makes that's what we mean by alternative sides so it makes loops on the alternative sides and these loops actually give it a forward push inhi loops ki madad se jo hai ye snake ek jagah se dusre jagah move kar sakta hai and it moves in a wave like manner you can see in the picture you can see in the picture it moves like this and not in a straight line and not in a straight line so this was about the locomotion in snakes now let's talk about the fish when we talk about fishes these are aquatic organisms that means they live in water and how they locomote how they move from one place to another they swim by swimming they can move from one place to another now let's talk about their body structure when we talk about the body structure of uh, these uh, fishes it's streamlined we say that their shape is streamlined that means their body shape is it's thick in the middle like here you can see in this very particular picture thick in the middle and it's tapering at both the ends here in the front side and the back side it's tapering that means it's thin as compared to the middle portion so this very particular this shape that streamlined shape this helps them to reduce the this helps them to reduce the resistance which is offered by the water so it helps them to penetrate the water and reduce its resistance this fish is able to swim actually with the help of <clears throat> a flexible backbone they also have a flexible backbone that means which can bend in different directions and strong muscles are attached to it in this flexible backbone it's also attached to a number of ribs and these ribs are attached to strong muscles so they also collectively help in the locomotion of fishes and apart from this they have fins these are the fins i'm talking about this is the fin these are fins on the tail as well so these fins also help in the locomotion of fishes what is the function of these uh, fins these fins actually these fins actually maintain balance they maintain a balance during locomotion and they also act as brakes that means when the fish wants to stop it stops with the help of these fins and after that it also helps in changing the direction while swimming so this was about the locomotion in fishes now let's talk about locomotion in birds when we talk about birds birds can fly and they can also walk on the ground that means with the help of their wings they are able to fly and with the help of their legs we can say they walk on the ground we have some 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 birds like duck which can swim as well 
so mostly we can say birds actually they locomote they move from one place to another by flying now let's see how they are able to fly actually there are four limbs four limbs are modified into wings these are modified into wings like this in the picture these are the wings their four limbs are um, modified into wings these wings help them to um, and these fly and their hind limbs these are used for walking these are the le legs or the hind limbs and with the help of these hind limbs they are able to walk from one place to another again their body is streamlined their body is streamlined as well that means <clears throat> thick at the middle and um, tapering at the ends again this streamlined body structure is to cut the air currents or we can say to overcome the resistance which is offered by the air and their bones are hollow their bones are hollow which makes their body light that means in ka jo body weight hota hai jab inki bones bahut matlab bahut light hoti hai taki kyunki inko fly karna padta hai so this is why they have hollow bones and when we talk about their chest their chest have very powerful muscles which help them to flap their wings so this was all about the locomotion in different animals